So hello everyone, for today's virtual tour webinar, we'll be talking about Beirut, Lebanon. So for the table of contents, we will be talking about its history, its geography, the weather, some events and activities, culture, holidays and festivals, food, and some fun facts. So its history. So Beirut, along with the rest of Syria, passed under Ottoman rule in 1516, shortly after the Portuguese had rounded the African continent in, in 1498. 1898. To divert the spice trade of the east away from Syria and Egypt, the commercial, the commercial importance of Beirut declined as a consequence. By the 17th century, however, the city has re-emerged as an exporter of Lebanese silk to Europe, mainly to Italy and France. The growth of modern Beirut was a result of the Industrial Revolution in Europe. Factory produced goods of the Western world began to invade the markets of Ottoman, Syria, and Beirut, starting virtually from the knot, stood only to profit from the modern industrial world. The occupation of Syria by the Egyptians, which occurred from 1832 to 1840 under Muhammad Ali Pasha, provided the needed stimulus for the town to enter on to its new period of commercial growth. Its geography. So located on, on a peninsula that extends west at the midpoint of Lebanon's coastline with the Mediterranean Sea, Beirut serves as the country's main seaport mm. and, forms, and forms the Beirut district. Flanked by the Lebanon mountains, the city has taken on a triangular shape, largely influenced by its situation between and atop two hills, al Ashrafiyya and al Musatiba. Beirut's coastline consists of rocky beaches, sandy shores, and cliffs. Its weather. Beirut has a subtropical climate that is cool in the winter and hot and humid in the summer. In January, the coolest month, the average afternoon maximum temperature is 60 to 62 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 17 degrees Celsius. And the nighttime low is 51 degrees Fahrenheit or 11 degrees Celsius. Comparable maximum and minimum temperatures in July are 87 and 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 31 and 25 degrees Celsius. The rainy season extends from mid-autumn to early spring, and the average annual rainfall is 36 inches. Events and activities. So first off, taking a boat tour at Turush, which also known as Pigeon Rocks. Rouge is one of those places that you'll, you'll remember forever. Located on the eastern side of Beirut on Kurnish and Manara, this is a place that can be explored at any time of day. The Pigeon Rocks, a massive rock formation in the seas, just off the shore of Rouge, were formed by an earthquake and have been around since the 1200s. So head downtown to Aswak, Beirut. <clears throat> downtown Beirut and Beirut Central District have been contested for a long time, fighting against forced urbanization and modernization of the city. Many people are profoundly against the new bills that popped up on up downtown. However, despite this honorable attempt to reclaim Beirut's past, downtown lives on and it's full of deluxe shops, Aswak, Beirut, and cute little cafes where you can sip up your tea and enjoy people watching. Visiting Baalbek, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Lebanon's Baalbek ruins are some of the best preserved Greco-Roman structures in all of the Middle East. The site was once a thriving Phoenician city known as uh, Heliopolis, Sun City, and today the temples of Bashis, Temple of Venus, and Temple of Jupiter offer visions of past glories. Visiting the Beirut National Museum, with its grand neoclassical fontage, the landmark Beirut National Museum, Lebanon's <clears throat> most important archaeological collection, artifacts span the gamut from prehistory pre through, through to Renaissance times, and includes gorgeous sculptures, sacrifice, and jewelry. Its culture. 
So the predominant culture is fundamentally conservative and exhibits a great deal of respect for traditions, drawing on many Arab customs, long lasting Islamic and Christian traditions remain deeply ingrained in social norms and expectations. However, many practices and lifestyles also reflect European influences. This is partly due to its coastline proximity to Europe, as well as the period of French occupation in the 20th century. Ultimately, contemporary Lebanon society is highly diverse. It is common to see both traditional Lebanese attire and modern European fashion in city streets. Holidays and festivals. Independence Day. Lebanon gained independence from France in 1943 on the 31st of December. However, the date of the celebration is the 22nd of December, as this is the day when the right of, of independence was recognized by France. During the day, there are military parades. The food. So first off is mena ish. It refers to the Levitine dish made from flatbread topped with different ingredients. You can think of this as the Arabic version of pizza. The name mena ish is rooted from it in the Arabic verb naqsha, which means to sculpt or to carve out. This is a reference to how indentations are made to the flatbread dough for the toppings to sit in. Mena ish is traditionally made with one of the three ingredients, min slam, cheese, or zata. Tabbule. Tabbule refers to a Levantine salad of finely chopped parsley mixed with mint, tomatoes, onions, bulgur, olive oil, and lemon juice, originally from the mountains of Lebanon and Syria. It's become one of the most popular salads in Middle Eastern cuisine. Falafel. Falafel refers to a Middle Eastern dish of deep fried balls or, or patties made from ground chickpeas herbs, and spices. Popular throughout the Middle East, they can be enjoyed on their own as part of a mess platters or served in pita sandwiches with salad, pickled vegetables, and tahini-based sauces. Mjaddara. Mjaddara is an Arabic dish made with lentil, lentils, rice, and caramelized onions. It's popular throughout the Middle East where it goes by different names like majaddara, gaddara, and mudaddar. Jadar can be prepared in different ways, but it's usually made with brown or green lentils, rice, onions, cumin, and olive oil. In some parts of Lebanon, there seems to be distinction made between versions of the dish containing rice or bulgo. Wara anab. Wara anab means grape leaves in Arabic, refers to the Lebanese version of dolma, a family of dishes popular in Greece, Georgia, Turkey, Armenia, and many other countries throughout the Levant, the Balkans, the South Caucasus, and Central Asia. Wara anab consists of brined grape leaves wrapped with a filling uh, made of short green rice, garlic, onion, parsley, and spices, like the Lebanese, seven spices, and cinnamon. They can be vegetarian or mixed with ground meat filling the like lamb or bean. Kusamashi. Similar to what I up, kusamashi refers to another type of stuffed Lebanese dish. Instead of being wrapped in vine leaves, it is made with squash or zucchini that has been hollowed out and filled with stuffing of rice or meat. Vegetarian versions are typically served at room temperatures, while variation made with meat are served at hot as the main course, usually in a garlic and tomato sauce with dried mint. Shawarma. Shawarma is one of the most internationally well-known Lebanese foods, commonly sold as street food throughout the Middle East and beyond. It refers to a Levantine dish made with heavily marinated meat, usually chicken, beef, lamb, or mutton, cooked on a vertical rotisserie. Lastly, some fun facts about Lebanon. Lebanon is one of the world's oldest cities with thousands of years of history. Lebanon has been primarily settled since 10,000 BC. The name Lebanon comes from the Semitic word Ibn, which means white, in reference to the snow cap mountain Lebanon. Despite its size, Lebanon is home to five UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including four ancient cities, Anjar, Balbak, Byblos, and Tari, and the Quadrish Valley and its Christian mo monastic settlements.
Lebanon is one of the highest cigarette consumers in the world with over 2,000 cigarettes smoked per person per, per year. Legend has it that Beirut has been rebuilt from the ashes seven times, making it an urban phoenix in mythology. Lastly, there is a video about things to do in Beirut, Lebanon. Thank you for visiting Beirut.